Dear students, I hope you all will be fine. I am here Muhammad Jamal Khan, lecturer in Botany, University of Education, Lahore. Today we will discuss a topic from one of the core subjects of Botany that is plant systematic anatomy and development. The course code of this subject is BOTN triple one two. Let's we begin this lecture. So here we have the content of this uh, lecture. In the beginning we have the introduction of uh, this lecture related to uh, colon chyma uh, then we have the features or characteristics of colon chyma cells or colon chyma cells after that uh, we have uh, basis of classification of colon, colon chyma then we have types of colon chyma and in the end we discuss the function of colon chyma in plant so here we have the borderline uh, to discuss uh, this uh, topic under uh, these heading. In our previous lecture, we discussed a simple permanent tissue that was parenchyma. In this lecture, we will discuss another simple permanent tissue that is colon chyma. For the sake of your concern, simple permanent tissue is also called ground tissue. Colon chyma like parenchyma like scandry wall but have thicker primary cells wall than parenchyma. They are long and thin cells that retain the ability to stretch and elongate. It means that it exhibit flexibility. This feature helps them provide structural support in growing region of the shoot system. These colon chyma are highly abundant in elongated stems. Simply when we discuss about the origin of such colon chyma, colon chyma cells develop from certain elongated cells that resemble with procambium which are formed in the very early stages of differentiation of the meristem. Sometimes less specialized colon chyma originates from the ground meristem and some of the scientists believe that the colon chyma originates jointly with the vascular tissues from the procambium. As far as consider its distribution, colon chyma occurs in the peripheral position. For example, immediately beneath the epidermis in stem, leaves and floral parts, fruit and roots of dicolidin plants Colon chyma is not found in the stem of many monocots. It occurs as continuous band of solitary or many cells layer, thick hypodermis under the epidermis. So, uh, actually, uh, this uh, colon chyma uh, is a very simple permanent tissue or operant tissue. And when we precisely introduce this uh, 
simple permanent tissue we say these are simple living permanent tissues uh, that is present in dicot stem so as far as concerned with the occurrence of uh, the colon chyma uh, it is present below the epidermis uh, in leaf stalks and leaf midribs and uh, mostly it is present in dicot herbaceous stem or it is absent in monocot stem uh, petioles of leaf stalk of flowers uh, and uh, this colon chyma also form bundle sheath as far as concern with the origin of uh, this simple permanent tissue that is colon chyma it is derived from a meristematic tissue and those meristematic tissues are procambium one of the main feature uh, of the colon chyma or one of the main distinguished feature of the colon chyma is the size and uh, thickness of these cells so we can say that it is the most uh, distinctive characteristic of the colon chyma cells that is the cell wall which become unevenly thickened or you can say that irregularly thickened so due to this unevenly uh, thickness it forms angle within the cell so there are different types of deposition uh, in colon chyma but commonly the thickenings are confined uh, to the corners of the cell due to which it produce angles and the degrees of deposition may be so much pronounced uh, that the cell look circular in cross section due to these thickening it possess different shape and size and the size and the shape of colon chyma cells vary greatly the shorter ones are more or less like parenchyma and the longer ones resembling the fibers with overlapping tapering ends the individual colon chyma cells may often attain the length of near about 2 mm and the cell wall of these colon chyma are made up of cellulose hemicellulose and pectic material and that contains almost 67% uh, uh, of fresh weight as water colon chyma cells exhibit very small or rare air spaces intracellular air spaces the main function or the main purpose of uh, these uh, simple permanent tissue is that it provide flexibility to the plant so here we have the what is colon chyma actually is it's very simple these are the cells or these are the cells that are present at the peripheral region of the plant below the epidermis or hypodermis these cells are only present in dicot plants 
and it is totally absent in monocore. Sometimes these colon chyma are occupied within the plant cell as ridges. In addition to this, colon chyma are present in dicot leaf above the petiole, midrib and leaf veins. In very rare cases, these cells contain chloroplast, but majorly chloroplast is absent in colon chyma cells. And in some cases, the colon chyma possess tannin. These cells are arranged very in a very compact form so due to the very uh, restricted and compact arrangement intracellular spaces are absent and in very, very uh, minor cases the colon chyma contains in the cellular spaces. So, so now we we'll discuss the classification of colon chyma. We already discussed it that the colon chyma tissues appears to be more compactly arranged cells as the thickening material deposit more heavily, heavily at the corners and on the radials or peripheral region of cell in addition to normal uniform thickening. Due to this deposition or due to thickening as a result of deposition, we classify the colon chyma into two into four forms. So, colon chyma are classified on the basis of the nature of wall thickening and arrangement, compact arrangement of cells. And the nature of wall thickening varies and accordingly the, this we have four types of colon chyma. Number one is angular colon chyma. I precisely give you the definition of angular colon chyma that is the thickening material deposits at the angles or corners of the cell. In cross-sectional view, the thickenings uh, occur at those places where several cell meets, as you observed in this slide. The second type of colon chyma on the base of uh, 
thickening of cell wall is annular colon colon chyma and annular colon chyma cells are the rarest of the types and have been observed in leaves of carrot plant only and they are characterized by evenly thickened cell wall and are believed to be purely for the support and structure in all direction with no one side of wall being more thicker as you observed in the image next we have a third type of colon chyma that is lamellar colon chyma in this case the thickening material deposit uh, heavily on the tangential walls of the cell than the radial wall and in the end we have lacunar colon chyma and in this case the thickening material deposits at those places of the cell wall which are in direct contact with the intercellular spaces and later we will discuss in detail all these types of colon chyma so here we have so the first type of the colon chyma is angular colon chyma in this type the deposition is localized at the corners or angles of the cell due to which the cells are angled and polygonal in appearance the cell of this type of colon chyma are compact and irregularly arranged so the thickening material deposits at the corners of the compact cell due to this there is no intercellular spaces in angular colon chyma so this angular colon chyma is a very common type of colon chyma and it is found in the hypodermis or below epidermis in plant cell this angular colon chyma is found in various plants like in the stem of datura dahlia cucurbita solanum tuberosum atropa belladonna and in the petioles of leaves like uh, cucurbita morus and begonia so the next type of uh, colon chyma is annular colon chyma in this type the thickening material deposit at those places of the cell wall which are in direct contact uh, contact with the intercellular spaces so due to such deposition a uniform thickening appear and e cell appear as circular in cross section the example of uh, annular colon chyma are 
the petioles of solvia and malva in addition to this it is also found in the petiole of nerium the third type of colon chyma is lamellar colon chyma in this type cells are compactly arranged without intercellular spaces and the thickening occurs in various patterns mainly on the tangential wall of the cell so thickening is restricted to the tangential wall and each cell appear appear to be as tangential uh, rows or lay is of cells and it is mostly occur in the petiole of leaves this type of colon chyma is found in the stem of sambacus rhamnus and in the petiole of cholaria the fourth and the last type of colon chyma is lacunar lacunar colon chyma in this type the thickening appears at the intercellular space facing parts of the cell so due to this the colon chyma exhibit intercellular spaces and thickening is restricted only those intercellular spaces cell may appear as farricular or oval in cross section majorly such type of colon chyma is present in fruit wall this type of colon chyma is also called tubular colon chyma this colon chyma is found in the petioles of althea althea and in the members of compositive family so the now we discuss the functions of colon chyma colon chyma basically is the living mechanical tissue that is present in plant so it provide mechanical support to the plant organ because the cells are extensible with considerable degree of plasticity and support the organ in which they occur the cells of colon chyma are more flexible than secular chyma due to this most plant parts can bend without breaking these cells permit the growth and elongation of plant parts because of their living nature some chloranchyma contain chloroplast so such colon chyma are photosynthetic in nature and they can perform the function of photosynthesis in addition to this it is also present in the leaves at both side of vascular bundle to provide more strength colon chyma can serve as a storage site for defensive antibacterial compounds 
and in some cases the peripheral thick-walled colon chyma become thin and regain the meristematic activity.